Do ra ra ra! I don't know what that title means. What? Were you all expecting a joke? It, that I'm trying to make a pun here? That I had some sort of pun related to this title? No! It's been like five years. I still don't understand what this title means. It haunts me every day. Trying to understand what it's supposed to mean bothers me in my sleep. It has stuck with me more than that gay experience I had at camp. And I'm sure everyone in the comment section is going to tell me what they think the title actually means. But I don't care! It's my burden to bear. Cue title scene. Dura Ra Ra is a 2010 anime that aired on Adult Swim and Cartoon Network in 2011 at a time where anime on mainstream TV was kind of dying out and this thing was sort of just awkwardly placed in between Bleach and reruns of like Aqua Teen Hunger Force or something. And this was an anime that I didn't really know what to think of it at first, and by the time it was over, I still really didn't know what to think of it at first, and that's kind of what most people have the reaction to it of. And we'll explain why with the plot. Basically, the series follows this guy named Mikado Ryugamine, as he transfers from his suburban or farm life, I guess, to the high school world in the city of Ikebukuro, which I think is like a subsection of Tokyo. And basically, it's more or less just about the insanity of living in the city. You see him as he makes new friends, tries to reconnect with old ones, meets all the new people you find, all the strange and bizarre things in the city, like headless motorcyclists, people with superhuman strength, black Russian sushi makers. Wait a minute. That, none of that's normal. That's all very weird and bizarre and surreal and what the hell is it doing here and what does it mean this show is that's right do ra 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 you really there's no way to quantify and call it anything it has mystery it has suspense action drama it has just um the supernatural all of these things normally don't work well together or can't be integrated well together. We've already had this discussion. But somehow, this series does it perfectly. I know this sounds crazy, but Do Ra 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 is, in my opinion, one of the all-time great animes. I think this series is amazing. Everything down to the animation, to the music, to the way everything looks, to the way all the characters act. There's something about this series that is different from anything I've ever seen in any other anime. And it's not the fact that there's like a big strong plot going on. In fact, for a lot of it, there is no plot. It's just sort of the day-to-day -day adventures of Mikado and all the characters he meets and all these different people. And that's sort of why it works. You go into every episode never being able to tell what's going to happen. Always being able to get introduced to new characters. There's a fuck ton of characters in this. But always feeling like you understand it. Even when I was just a kid and wasn't able to follow everything because I wasn't like old enough. Almost was like 1 o'clock in the morning. I always felt that the series treated me with enough intelligence and respect to deliver me a fun, entertaining product. And it is fun in every sense of the word. When there's action, it's amazing. When there's comedy, it's hilarious. When there's drama, it's really effective. You essentially just go through the life of this kid as he sees everything and encounters everything and you just are so encapsulated. The style of the show, the city has a character to it, even without all the characters. And it's such a colorful cast of people. You grow to love everyone. You enjoy everyone. They're fascinating. Um, You have the headless motorcycle. You have his two friends who aren't annoying. You have, I gotta take a second to describe to you, a character played by John Young Bosch in my favorite performance of his named Izaya Orihawa. I'm not going to spoil who he is or what he does because you have to see it for yourself. But I'm, I'm just going to say it's my favorite John Young Bosch performance and he is one of my favorite characters of all time. This series is just excellent in so many ways you're all thinking oh is there a problem what does he have any issues eh, there's unfortunately a big one and it doesn't it didn't even need to happen it's an issue that doesn't even show up till the last um five or six episodes the show does what it shouldn't have done and that's try and have a plot and some sort of overarching story so you can end everything off with a nice little bow and i thought it was unnecessary i thought it was too convoluted even for this show 
and I just didn't think it really made any sense or worked. And then the way they end the whole season off did just sort of feel like it just sort of stopped. So what was the point? It just took me out of it, and I just thought it was a bit too much. However, I still think this series is excellent. The characters are amazing. The music, the score in this show is beautiful. I could go on for hours about how ingeniously every scene is composed and looks and the characters are. But I want to wrap this up because we're kind of getting pretty far here. So I will say Durara is a 9 out of 10 on the let's go with drama scale because honestly you could probably put every genre with this show. I mean, yeah, it doesn't get the perfect 10 out of 10 even though I praised it so much. But hey, season 2, we're in the middle of it. Um, it took a break until July, and part of the reason I'm doing this review is to get everyone to watch Season 2. And Season 1 and 2 are on Hulu, Crunchyroll, anywhere you can find anime. Go watch it, go get caught up and get immersed in it, and be ready for the rest of Season 2 for this amazing series that already feels like when I get to reviewing Season 2, we'll make it 10 out of 10. It's so perfect, it's so amazing, and I love it. But what do you think? In the comment section below, give me your opinions on Do Ra Ra Ra, your thoughts on any anime that like really tries to give the city it takes place in a character. And as always, click to like and click to subscribe because holy crap, I can't wait for July for the next season.